Warning, to avoid serious injury before performing any maintenance, service, or adjustments, engage the parking brake. Place the blade switch in the disengage position. Turn the ignition switch to the off position and remove the key. Make sure the blades and all moving parts have completely stopped. Disconnect the spark plug wires from all spark plugs and place the wires where they cannot come in contact with the plugs. Proper maintenance will help increase the longevity of your zero-turn mower. By using the maintenance chart in your owner's manual, you can easily track the recommended service schedule to ensure a long, productive relationship between you and your mower. If your mower isn't tracking straight, rotating the tracking knob allows fine-tuning adjustments, so the machine tracks straight with the steering control levers in the full forward position. First, place the mower on a flat concrete or blacktop surface and check the air pressure in both rear tires and adjust if necessary. To increase speed on the left lever, rotate the left tracking knob counterclockwise. Rotate clockwise to decrease the speed. Make sure all tires are properly inflated to 15 PSI. Anti-scalp rollers are properly adjusted when they are just slightly off the ground, when the deck is at the desired cutting height in the operating position. They can be set in four positions. The roller should be approximately a quarter of an inch from the ground when mowing. Do not adjust the rollers to support the deck. Check the belts after every 100 hours of operation. Check for severe cracking and large nicks. It's okay if the belt shows some small cracks. While the belts are self-adjusting, replace them if they begin to slip from wearing issues. To replace the belt, first park on a level surface. Apply the parking brake. Lower the deck into the lowest cutting position. If needed, remove the bolts from the belt shields and remove the shields. Remove any dirt or grass that may have accumulated around the cutting housing and entire deck surface. Release the spring-loaded idler pulley. Carefully roll the belt over the top of the cutter housing pulleys and remove it. When installing the new deck belt, refer to the routing decal on the top of the deck. Wrap the belt around the electric clutch pulley that's located on the engine crankshaft. Route the belt forward and up onto the deck. Place the belt around the spring-loaded idler pulley and secure the belt keeper in the original position. Double check the belt routing to make sure it matches the decal affixed to the cutting deck and that the belt doesn't have any twists. Push inward on the idler arm and carefully route the belt over the outer mandrel pulley. Once the belt is properly routed, slowly release the idler arm to tension the belt. Replace the foot plate and belt shields on the mandrel housings and secure with fasteners. To attain the best cut quality, it's important that blades are kept sharp and not damaged. Blades also must be balanced correctly to reduce vibration. Replace blades that have been bent or cracked from hitting obstacles. To replace the blades, be sure the unit is completely shut off, the deck is in the highest position, the spark plug wires are removed from the spark plugs, and the unit is parked in a cleared workspace. Place a wood block between the blade and deck shell to prevent the blade from turning. Remove the blade bolt by turning it counterclockwise. Install the new blade with the stamped grass side facing towards the ground or this side up facing the deck and spindle housing. Place the blade's opening firmly onto the spindle housing while matching the star pattern for a correct fit. Tighten the blade bolt by turning it clockwise and securely to 90 foot-pounds.
To ensure accuracy of leveling procedure, the mower deck drive belt must be installed prior to leveling deck. Make sure the tires are inflated to the correct pressure. If the tires are under or overinflated, the deck cannot be properly adjusted. Adjust the deck while the mower is on a level surface. Note that the deck should be adjusted slightly higher in the rear. Wear heavy gloves. Turn each outer blade tip to align side to side. Measure from the floor surface up to the bottom of the blade tip on the discharge side of the mower deck. Record this measurement. Move to the opposite side. Check the measurement is the same. If an adjustment is required, use a 3 quarter inch or adjustable wrench to turn the lift link adjustment nuts on either side counterclockwise to lower or clockwise to raise. Adjust until both side to side measurements are equal. Turn any blade to align with the deck in front to rear manner. If the front blade tip doesn't measure an eighth of an inch lower than the rear when the deck is in low position, to half an inch lower than the rear when the deck is in high position, follow the front adjustment instructions that follow. With the 5 8 inch or adjustable wrench, turn the nuts on the front suspension linkage. Turning clockwise raises the front of the mower. Counterclockwise will lower the front. Adjust the nuts until the rear of the mower deck is positioned level to an eighth of an inch higher in the rear than the side-to-side -side measurement. Note, this will place the mower deck in a standard measurement position. Additional adjustments may be required to achieve the desired cut for conditions or the type of grass being mowed. You should check the caster wheels every 200 hours. Check by making sure the wheels rotate freely. If the wheels do not rotate freely, take the unit or caster wheels to your dealer for service. Foam-filled tires or solid tires will void the warranty. It's important to replace the air filter on a regular basis. If the engine seems weak or runs unevenly, the air filter may be clogged. A dirty air filter can cause the spark plugs to become fouled. Check the owner's manual for a maintenance schedule. First, clean the area around the filter to prevent debris from getting into the engine when the filter is removed. Open the air filter cover by unlatching the clamp. Remove the filter and inspect it to see if it's dirty, bent, or damaged. If the filter can be reused, gently tap it against a solid surface to remove dust. Handle it carefully and don't reuse the filter if the sealing surfaces are bent or damaged. Check the air filter cover for damage or an improper fit. When installing the filter, check that it sits properly in the housing before closing the cover. Lubricate the front wheel mount pivots and wheel bearings with a grease gun. There is one Zerk fitting for each wheel pivot and one Zerk fitting for each set of caster wheels. Use only good quality bearing grease. To lubricate the deck spindles, begin by lowering the cutting deck completely. Lubricate them with the grease gun, two to three strokes per spindle. If a grease gun without a rubber hose is used, the foot plate must be removed to grease the center spindle. The engine oil should be changed for the first time after five to eight hours of operation. Thereafter, it should be changed every 50 hours. To change the oil, first place the mower on a flat surface. Place a container under the engine where the hose from the oil drain valve exits. Remove the cap plug and place a funnel under the drain tube. Remove the dipstick and allow the oil to run out into the container. Then replace the cap plug and tighten. Replace the oil filter by rotating counterclockwise to remove and be certain that the oil drain pan is below the oil filter. Now install the new oil filter and tighten per manufacturer's instructions. Fill with new engine oil in accordance with your owner's manual.
start the engine, run it for a few seconds, stop, and recheck the oil level. Regular cleaning, especially under the mower deck, will increase the machine's lifespan. Make it a habit to clean the machine directly after use, after the engine has cooled, but before the debris sticks. Do not rinse hot surfaces with cold water. Let the unit cool before washing. Do not spray water on the top of the mower deck. Use compressed air, a brush, or a handheld blower to clean the top side of the mower deck. Regularly clean the underside of the deck with normal water pressure. Do not use a high pressure washer or steam cleaner. Avoid spraying the engine and electrical components with water. For models fitted with the cleanout port, attach the quick connect from the accessory packet to any garden hose. Snap the hose to the cleanout port and turn on the water supply. Make sure the water hose is out of the way of the deck and blades and then restart the mower. Engage the blades to use the spinning action to help wash away debris. Shut off the mower and disconnect the hose. Restart and run the mower with the blades engaged for approximately five minutes to dry the underside of the deck. The blade spindles should then be lubricated. For other maintenance tasks, refer to the maintenance section of your operator's manual.